part in the sense 1000 it is sold before you start your problem you should work out all this later you can write the formula and simplify formula with the, all the information what is the net proceeds net proceeds in the sense your sold price or selling price A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. We learn concept along with we'll do one problem on weighted average cost of capital. This is your problem number two in this. The following is the capital structure of company determine weighted average cost of capital. Now. We are supposed to find out weighted average cost of capital from the following information. Now, we have equity shares of 10 lakh, debentures of 20 lakh, and preference shares of 12 lakh. You know how to do and what to do because in the previous session we worked out this problem. Now, in this external financial information. Now, Equity shares selling price is 125 and the expected growth rate is 8%. Along with that, the expected dividend at the end of current financial year is 15 per share. We have all the information about equity shares. We'll finish it up equity shares later. We'll come back for other topics. Now, equity shares, I'll go. These are the formula to calculate equal share. First one is what? Dividend. What is your dividend? I'll come back. Your dividend as per this is 15 per share. Now, this will be 15 divided by net proceeds. What is the net proceeds? As per this, the net proceeds will be 125 is your net proceeds. Now, 125 plus what is your growth rate the growth rate as per this they have mentioned that 8% is your growth rate growth rate is how much 8% now in this 8% we are supposed to take 8% now calculate this in this what happens 15 divided by 125 15 divided by 125 how much you will get 0 0.12 so it has to be multiplied with what 100 always remember plus 8 percent into 100 you will get 12 percent 12 plus 8 it is 20 percent Hope you understand. What is the first one? Cost of equity is, I'll write it here, 20%. We got cost of equity. Now, I'll go to the second one. Cost of debenture. I'll go back to your question. Cost of debenture, what are the informations we have? Current financial year, rupees, that is over 15 years. Number of years is what? 15. 12% debenture of rupees 1000 each, face value redeemable at 5% premium, sold at par, sold at par, redeemable at 5% premium. So remember, there is a 1000, sold at par, redeemable at premium, number of years 15 and 12% debenture. Now, in this, number of years, 15 years, interest 12 percent in the sense 1000 into 12 percent it will be 1200 hope you are clear yes next after this we need net proceeds as maturity price net proceeds and maturity price what is the net proceeds Net proceeds in the sense your sold price or selling price. Now, this will be 
1000 this will be at par par in the sense 1000 it is sold redeem that premium 1000 plus 5 percent it will be 1050 hope you are clear i'll come back to this now redeemable at 5 percent premium sold at par what is the par value 1000 is a par value now so I done with all this calculation. Now I'll come back to this. Do you have interest in this? Yes. You have interest of 1,200. So it is not 1,200. 1,000 into 12% means it will be 120. I should take 120. This must be 120. So I should take 120. Do you have tax percentage? No. Then plus maturity price I got 1050 minus net proceeds 1000 divided by number of years 15. Then again your maturity price 1050 plus 1000 divided by 2 we should go for average of 2 now you have to simplify this we'll simplify 1 by 1 first i'll do this 1050 minus 1000 divided by 15 how much i got i got 3.33 3. 120 plus 3.33 then this one is what? Yeah, this one. 1050 plus 1000 divided by 2. How much it is? 1025. So your final answer is multiply with 100. Now it will be 120 plus 3.33 divided by 1025 into 100. I got 12.03. 12.03%. Hope you are clear. I'll go with the answer. 12.03%. Any doubt up to this? Hope there is no doubt. I got the cost of debenture also. We'll go for cost of preferences now these are your cost of preferences i'll go back to your question so that we will get all the informations now in this what happens six years number of year six ten percent preferences of rupees hundred each sold at par redeemable at premium similar same to same your this thing yeah Dividend 10% means 100 into 10% it will be 10 and maturity price 100 plus 5% it will be 105 net proceeds it is an actual par value number of years number of years it may be 8 or 10 I'll check it once See, six years, number of years six, preference, yes, the rest of the things are correct. Number of years, we have six years. Hope clear. Before you start your problem, you should work out all this. Later, you can write the formula and simplify formula with the, all the information. Now, your preference dividend, it is 10. MP, it is 105. NP it is 100 number of years it is 6 again 105 plus 100 divided by 2 we'll do simplification we'll do one by one first we have to do this one then we have to do this clear now 105 minus 100 divided by 6 it is 
your answer is 10 and this is almost I got yes, 0 0.833 whole divided by your 105 plus 100 divided by 2. I got 102.5. 102.5. Any doubt up to this? Hope there is no doubt. Yes. Now, so up to this we have completed and yes. Now, so how much you will get? It has to be added in this. You will get 10.833 divided by 102.50. This will be your answer. If you do this calculation, 10.833 divided by 102.5 into 100. I got 10.56 something. 10.56%. Hope you are clear. These are the information we got from first, second as well as third one. Now, so we got all the information now. Now I'll go to your weights. Now you know the format. Same thing we are supposed to add here. Now, sources of finance, we have equity. So next it will be debenture and preference. Preference shares. Now, if you do this, what is your book value? The book value is your 10 lakh, 20 lakh and 12 lakh. 10, 20 and 12. 10 lakh, 20 lakh, and 12 lakh. Hope you are clear. 10 lakh, 20 lakh, and 12 lakh. Now, these are the informations we have in this weights. Wait, how to find out now? Already you have calculated cost. First we'll write down the cost. Later we'll come back for weights. Now. What is your cost actually? Your equity cost is 20%. Preference is 12.03 and 10.56. So it is 20%, 12.03 and the last one as yes, this you have to remember this has to be plus, not multiplication, it has to be plus. Now that's why see we added, don't multiply. Now, this is 10.56, 10.56. Now, how to find out weight? Now, total 20, 30, 42 lakh, 42 lakh in this. We'll calculate 10 lakh into 100 divided by 40. 2 lakh. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, 10 lakh into 100 divided by 42. How much I got? 23.8. Then, similarly, I'll go for the next one. 20 lakh. 20 lakh into 100 divided by 40. 2 lakh. Now, 20 lakh into 100 divided by 42 lakh. I get around 47.6. 47.6%. Similarly, we'll go for 12 lakh. 12 lakh into 100 divided by 42 lakh. If you go for this, 12 lakh into 100 divided by 42 lakh. How much it is? 28.57. Now multiply this. Your 20 into 23.8%. I'll got I got 4.76. For 12.03 into 47.6%. I got 
10.56 into 28.57 percent. I got 3.01. 3.01. Add everything. 4.76 plus 5.72. Plus 3.01, 13.49. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, these are all your calculation. You are supposed to add only your last column and your first column. This two adding is not required. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, I will show you all the slides. Please check and work out yourself. This is your problem number two, question. This is the answer, cost of equity, cost of debenture, cost of preferences. This is your weighted average cost of capital. Yeah. This is all about your today's session. Please work out the same problem at your home without seeing answer. Thank you.